Uh, but she, uh, thanks for getting to know me. Check you later. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Alex. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I just thought that, you know, I'll do a chill video today. Just sit, relax, talk. Um, because I haven't really like um, sorry, um, because I haven't really told you guys much about myself, and I think this is just like a quick little way that you can get to know me. These ones, I think I read through like one or two of them, so kind of straight off the bat, just gonna go with it. Uh, they seemed a bit more interesting than the regular, you know, what's your name. How old are you kind of things. So, uh, first question is explain your Twitter handle. So my Twitter handle is um, bees in the trap and it is basically just from a song. Uh, I'm sure you guys know it. Bitches ain't shit and they ain't saying nothing. A hundred motherfuckers can't tell me nothing. I bees in the trap, be bees in the trap. And yeah, that's pretty much my name is um, Alexandra and my surname is Beasley, so bees, bees in the trap. It's not really like philosophical or whatever you want to call it. Uh, question two, who inspires you and why? Mm, there's a number of different people that inspire me for different reasons, so I find this question a little bit like broad. Um, but people like my mom, my friends, my family, um, People who aren't here anymore, like Nelson Mandela is one of my biggest idols. Um, and yeah, just a few people that I follow on YouTube. They inspire me to do better. Um, sorry about that. My personal trainer, Nele, um, the Kardashians, they're also a fucking great businesswoman. As much as you might not like them, they know how to get shit done and how to do it and why they do it and when they do it and then they make money so yeah okay so question three do you, you care about what others think about you so now this is quite an interesting question because I do um, but I think that since I started this YouTube channel I've definitely started to not give a fuck um, and I also started reading a book which I'll quickly insert here um, the Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson and that's kind of teaching me about basically not giving a fuck about what others think because at the end of the day it doesn't affect you but being a YouTuber it does get a bit discouraging sometimes when you know people put like a thumbs down or they write nasty comments you guys might not see them but sometimes they get held for um, review by me and yeah, you know, there are some people that say some nasty things, so uh, it's something I'm working on, for sure. Number four, what are you most looking forward to? Okay, I'm looking forward to getting my body back into its healthiest desired place where it's meant to be. Um, I really look forward to fitting into my other clothes again. Uh, I look forward to having a baby. Um, I look forward to getting married um, and I look forward to building my own life as I want it, how I want it and yeah, leaving my little footprint on the world somehow. Number five, what is one life rule you follow? Mm, everything happens for a reason. Number six, what is your dream job? Well. Um, I think one of my dream jobs is to be a very successful YouTuber. Um, I would love to just be a mom. Um, I would also love to do something with animals. But also, strangely enough, I'd, I'd love to be a plus size model. Uh, yeah, that's quite a few things, you know. I'm sure you all have these um, dream jobs. Um, Seven, which fictional character do you wish you could meet? Hagrid. Mm. A man Hagrid. Seems like he can 
help out with the stuff going on in my life and you know make everything better. As a child, what did you want to be when you grew up? Um, I think I wanted to be a few things. I remember quite specifically that I wanted to be a horse riding teacher. Um, yeah, that was like number one, I think. I also wanted to be like a ballerina um, and a vet, yeah. Uh, if you were a cartoon character, who would you be? I don't watch many cartoons. Um, I feel like Eliza Thornberry from The Wild Thornberries, I don't know if you guys do remember that show, if you are a 90s baby you definitely will, but yeah, Eliza Thornberry, she was dope. What skill would you like to master? Ooh, I would love to learn a number of languages. So I'd love to be like a connoisseur in languages. I'd love to learn all of my South African languages. We have 12, by the way. In what situation would you feel most out of place? Uh, in what situation would I feel most out of place? That's kind of a weird one. It's maybe at like a, a runway show, a high fashion runway show maybe. Uh, I think in just in a general place where there are like professionals or something that are not like a part of that or like in a restaurant like an ex-boyfriend and he's on a date or uh, you know anything conflicting like that. What artist do you really like but really admit to liking? I oh, know. Um, <laughs> typical white girl coming through, but Nickelback. I fuck with Nickelback. They were like my fave back in the day, and most people like associate Nickelback with like being very basic. <laughs> so I think that would be it. What gets you fired up? I don't know if this means like in a motivational sense or like an angry sense. So I'm just gonna go for the motivational sense. Um, I think seeing people succeed, um, uh, seeing lots of like weight loss transformations, um, very passionate about uh, bringing an end to racism and your and stuff like gets me going, and gets the engines turning. Um, so I think that's about it. Uh, what do you do to get rid of stress? Uh, I know this is very strange and some of you are probably gonna like unsubscribe after watching this but I actually go and watch Dr. Pimple Popper's videos. I don't know what it is but like if I've had a really shit day I go and watch those videos. Uh, there's something about it that just like brings relief to me. Um, or obviously just going to the gym and like ugh, just like running it out fucking it up in the gym. You have to relive one day of your life forever. Which day do you choose? That's crazy. So, I would probably want it to be a day that might or hopefully would happen in the future. But I feel like probably like the day I got married um, or the day I had it, my child, children. Um, but if it was in the past, maybe it would have been when I was overseas with my friend Genevieve and we were in a place called Capri, the Isle of Capri. Um, it was just such a beautiful day. Um, really, really gorgeous, just the people and the experience. I felt like I was in a movie. Okay, um... How quickly do you jump to conclusions about people? Oh, it's sad, um, but I really, like I have a problem with jumping to, like I assume a lot of stuff. Um, but what's good is I can kind of like, as of recently, like take a step back and gain a little bit more perspective on that people might be going through the same kind of like shit that I am. And even though I think that they might be a nasty person, they're probably still going through something as well. Um, so they're probably just human. If you were a doll, what, uh, what accessory would you be sold with? Ooh, there's lots of food. Lots of food. 
<laughs> what have you done in your life that has given you the most satisfaction? Definitely YouTube, 100%. I have really enjoyed this experience and losing all of that weight and sharing my story with everyone, that was like A1, that was number one. What would be the worst thing to put in a pin, pinata, pinata, pinata? You know what I mean? Ooh, dude. I think like flies. Oh, I fucking hate flies. Can you imagine smacking open a pinata and just flies are coming out? That's just gross. No. Um, what's the biggest waste of money you've seen? Ooh, at the club. You know what I'm talking about. If you live in Joburg and you have been to the likes of those places, people just like fall out like on a, on a Thursday, you know, and it's not even their birthday or anything like that, like pouring like champagne on a watch, like ugh, don't do it. So what common misconceptions do you hate to hear repeated as a fact? <sighs> that women are supposed to look a specific way and that their bodies are supposed to be flawless and that we are constantly supposed to be um, looking like Barbie dolls and that if you don't put on makeup and if you don't do your hair and if you don't wear nice clothes then you're never gonna get a, a, a husband or a boyfriend. I hate that shit. I hate it. What food do you crave most? Oof. There's like a... I go through phases but I think I think chocolate is like number one. I like fuck with chocolate so bad. Um, and then I think pizza is like a strong number two, like a quick follower after that. Uh, what TV series do you keep coming back and re-watching? Game of Thrones, baby. I'm like a, I'm an avid, avid, avid Game of Thrones. And I've actually started re-watching it twice now. Among your friends, what are you best known for? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, I think being tall <laughs> um, and maybe being a bit like crude in my jokes. Who of your friends is most like you? Ooh. There's definitely just like aspects of each of my friends that I can see. Maybe my friend Danilo struggled with a few of the same things in the past and just that's funny, real funny. What was the most traumatizing moment of your life? Pretty deep. Um, I don't think I'm going to talk about it because it is like quite a personal. There's two um, family stuff, and then I went through an extremely shitty breakup. Uh, yeah, those two are like not so nice to go through. Okay, and then last question is what's something you'll never do again? Oh. I will never, no shade, but it's just like a, I'll never, ever, 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 ever date anyone who thinks that they can control me and manipulate me and just be nasty to me in many different ways. Ever, ever, ever. Yeah. So guys, that is about it. I just answered 30 questions about myself. They were kind of weird questions. I'm reading through them. I, I don't know if you learned a lot about me, but uh, maybe I'll do another one of these get to know me tags um, in the future. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so I can know if I'm doing the right thing or not. Um, and if you have any questions, please write them down below. I'd love to answer them maybe in another video. Uh, but she, uh, Thanks for getting to know me. Check you later.